We return to the Shattered Realm and the Shattered House of Stark Targaryen. Welcome back. We are the last surviving member, Daenora of Pentos. 43 years old, so we've got two years to get an heir. It's not impossible, I'll be honest with you. We've got seduction focus. We've got to have a son, and he's got lust all. So actually, our chances are pretty decent, to be, to be honest with you, all things considered. She's also got no malices that affect her as well. They like each other fairly well as well, which does play into it. We're good. I, w I would say let's not worry about that too much. We'll worry about that when we've dealt with the uh, other issue that we've got here, which is a giant war that threatens to tear the whole realm apart. We've got dragons, but they've got the troops. So it's whether or not dragons alone can win this for us. It's going to be debatable. They've also got a fair amount of men coming in as reinforcements there. They've got 4,800 men there just in this immediate vicinity. So I think their movement locked up to Little Roin. We're going to head north and capture them. Or, or, or cut them off there. Try and kill them. Oh, shit. Wait, what? The in-command modifier only just kicked in. If I keep reloading and unloading, do you think there's a chance that she'll, uh, that, that her husband will unload as well and will potentially maybe have an heir as soon as possible? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that would, uh, affect... There's got to be some sort of modifier manipulation we can do there, but that's, that's way too meta. What is this, Iron Man mode? We're not even playing in Iron Man. That's nuts. Okay, 292 versus 679. We're going to hunt them down, then we're going to drop the dragon on them next. We've got to keep their numbers down as much as possible. Who cares about war score? If they've got too many troops, then we're going to suffer. We might as well get them while we've got them on the run, and then we can counter siege to our own leisure then, because we've got the dragons, which basically are like the world's best. No! Oh, shit. Well, that's lucky. Um. Uh, wait. Oh, no, no, we're fine. Oh, shit. I misread that then for a second. Holy fuck. I am surely with child. Okay, this is actually really, really good. I completely misread that. Queen Daenora gains a trait pregnant, gains 10 prestige. Maybe we shouldn't have a leading troops. Just a thought, but she is a dragon rider, so we don't really have a choice on that one, team. Um, huh. Enemy commander slain, good riddance. Oh, God, I'm not sure. There's 2,000 men there. Let's go and take those out. Let's hit them with the dragon, and then I think we'll, we'll let her off of troop duty. What I will do is, when we've got a big, important siege coming up, We'll put it back on the troops, siege it down, take her off. And then just keep doing that and, and keep having her leading troops and not having troops. Tormoxen, her dragon, I assume it says, yep, is growing fond of other dragons. We can give it playful, which increases uh, dragon a chance, lowers the personal combat, though. Or we can try and go with this one, which increases their personal combat. I mean, we kind of want them to get playful because that increases the, uh, the egg chance, too. So I'm going to go for that. I'm going to keep it. Personal combat, by the way, so their martial determines the sieging. Personal combat determines how strong they are fighting other dragons. So if we've got a rival dragon rider, which we might possibly end up with, because there's a lot of dragons kicking around Essos at this stage. If we get a rival dragon rider, their personal combat of the dragons determines how that dragon fight will go down. If, obviously, we have a low dragon con combat, then we're going to lose it. Uh, I don't think our own stats play into that at all. I don't think the skill, our own martial plays into like our dragon riding abilities or anything like that. I think it is just purely the skill of the dragon there. Might be wrong. I will look that up though before next time so I can uh, so I can find out for certain. Because I think it would be nice to know when there are so many dragons uh, in our enemy states. That's a big heffin' no f from me. Oh god. Will she ever recover? Again, the train maimed. It didn't even do that much damage either. We're still going to win it, but my god, we're going to take some losses, I think. Uh, you know what? Actually, that's not looking too bad. 208 versus 1,300. It's It's fine. So they've got 2,300 troops here. Now, I've got to bear in mind, we also haven't got the dragon. But they aren't on right now. Actually, we'll just chase them. They've got movement lock. Oh, God. Are we seriously in debt? Oh, my God. Really? Oh, shit. Can we... We haven't got mercenaries, have we? Oh, fuck. We do. Get rid of the mercenaries. Just get rid of the mercenaries. Because they might turn on us anyway, and that would actually win this battle. That would, If, if those mercenaries, 900 men, decide to join these boys, then we are screwed. With the movement lock, we should be able to catch them. Issue a reprimand. Get to paying your loans, for the love of God. Otherwise, the banks will turn against us, and that's something we really don't want on top of everything else here. Right. My beloved bu husband decided to pay me a visit tonight. Thank you, I appreciate that. Fingers crossed that uh, that the baby comes out well. What's he got again? Nothing. We just literally chose someone who's lost for hindsight. It's probably not a bad idea. Oh, God. Um, Spot the problem here, huh? We might win this. She's got a dragon. We've got good commanders. Shit, this is a dangerous battle. This is a horrible, horrible battle. Um, can we do anything? We can raise some more troops. There's not going to be many, but it might help out. They might just be able to reinforce in time. I'm going to say I doubt it. Come on, please. We've already lost two flanks. Are you shitting me? Oh, she's holding it down, though. Oh, my God, she's holding it down. Or 
We give her a golden set of armor, and she gets to leave. Are we going to lose the battle, though, if we do that? Or we say curses? You wriggle out of your armor, leave it, and run. I obviously don't want her to get maimed because she's our last character. I feel like I've got to do this, but if we lose the battle, that would suck. Okay, no, she's not retreating. Okay, she's not retreating, which is good. We, we've got this battle, but my god, that was horrible. That was a really, really, really bad battle for us there. We're back to 13% war score. They've got more troops on us now, though. They really do. Oh, you know what? We've got 2,200. Uh, chase them. Just, just, uh, just give chase. I'm sorry. We've, we've got to keep, we've got to keep things going here. Um, no, 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 no. This is bad. Stop. Uh, these boys that I might fight, they move a lot because they're not. Okay, what do we do? <laughs> what do we do here? We've got to bring these troops together because they're units. They've still got more troops than us. We've got to keep them suppressed. That's the main sort of issue that I've got going out here. Um, if they, if their units start coming together, that's when we're gonna have a problem. Right, so let's bring these boys together as one big, big, big absolute unit. Right, come on. It, just what Jon Snow would have wanted. Merge it together. Okay, let's just put good commanders on this. The dragon is useless for the time being. Let's let it rest. We do still get the dragon bonuses to my knowledge, but I'm not gonna risk it. Um, let's... Can we beat them there? Okay, they get defense bonus from hills, but we obviously outnumber them two to one, so I think we're fine here. Uh, we have a new heir. Malus. Okay, he's, he's nothing. He's just completely... Oh my god. Um... Thrift. Thrift for Malus. Malus is a good, strong Targaryen name, so we're going to stick with that. Although, I think one of the last Malus was Malus the Monstrous, and he wasn't exactly a particularly nice guy. He was Blackfire, though, which was, uh, you know, it's all the same. Who cares? Um, what are we going to go for with you, then? I probably want to find him a good wife as soon as possible, because we really can't afford to miss any time on this one. So we need to find someone his age, or... Why have we not got any prodigy characters, my guy? Maybe it's just called... Uh, what is it normally called? Brilliant in this, isn't it? Or, oh, by the default, it's called Brilliant. See what I can find. Um, wise? Maybe we'll just stick with wise. I don't know why the other one isn't spawning in. It's probably for the best. Cause it's very OP anyway. All right. Uh, gender, women, married. Preferably not. Let's sort by age. See what we got kicking around here. So there's Filky, a Dothraki. Merman there. She's 12. We want to find someone a little bit younger, ideally. Um, Bravosi? She might do. Arrange marriage between her and... Oh, sorry. Arrange betrothal between her and Malus. Say no, because he's an infidel. Okay. Um, let's wait a few years then. Obviously, it's not important yet. If we can find someone around his age a bit close to the time, that would be good. Ooh, this is a horrible battle. Nah. We're good. So, they're actually going to get their armies together here. 3,000 men. Oh, man. This sucks. <laughs> this is horrible. Uh, have we got any more troops? We, we do. We actually do. Okay. Bring them back to Pentos. Let's retreat to Pentos. Get our troops together there. And then if they want to fight us on our home ground, they're more than welcome to. Because I imagine, we've, do we get any sort of defense bonuses? Are there any river crossings? Oh my god, please tell me there's something. There's not. Okay, um, what does that give us, though, in total, though? 2,500 men versus their 3,200. This is going to be hard, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, this is your daughter, Liara Stark. She's gained the humble trait. Sure, that's fine. So they're not actually chasing us down, which is great news. It means it gives us a little more time to try and do something. Have five children. Good luck with that. You're 44. I'm not, I'm not going to imagine that's going to happen anytime soon. Right, it's Chief General, Spy Master, Priest, whatever. Special. Okay, so set crown folks in pencils as well for what it's worth, which is nothing right now. Can't start this siege, which will give us a little... What the fuck are you doing? We've got another 2,000 men. This may be unwinnable. This may be completely unwinnable because we've got no gold either. We can't even take a loan because I think we already took one, didn't we? Um, yeah, we've already taken a loan. We could request a loan from a vassal. Let's give it a go. Uh, they don't have the gold, and I don't see why I should help you. Great, okay. Um, this is low tier. We can, we can ransom this dude out. Is he counting for any war score? Surely. Oh, no, he is. Wait, who is that? Um, holds Relados of the Titan of Bravos prisoner. That's him. Okay, so keep him around. It's only 5% war score, but we need it right now. Um... Nurture him at the expense of your health. Sure, absolutely. We've got, to, we've got to actually make the future generation work here. It's one diplomacy. It's not much, but it'll do. Lady Kala? How much does she want? She just becomes our master of coin. Sure. She's very good, actually, so we'll let that happen. I'm actually going to have her collect taxes in the hopes that we can maybe cancel out a little bit of the debt that the crown has accrued with this ridiculous war. Are our troops reinforcing? No. Why? Or maybe, maybe we need to merge them together first. How about now? Six soldiers a month. It's not much, but we might just be able to, with a little bit of levy reinforcement rate increase, we might just be able to uh, drag them into a war of attrition that they can't do too well with. What else can you do here? Um, levy size plus 1%. It's not a lot, but I'll take it.
Just had to do a quick reload there. I don't know if anybody knows the battle on it, but basically I have to swap between patches for this version of Game of Thrones and Series B. And whenever I do that, certain mods enable that are part of one series, but not the other, and it fucks with it a little bit. So I fixed that one very quickly. Right, now let's get back involved with things. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> this is horrible. If we can at least get out of debt, right? Because does that affect our troops at all? Lack of funds, it absolutely does. Okay, um, if we can get out of debt, like, immediately. Oh, it's going to take a couple of months to get out of debt, though, isn't it? Oh, we're actually doing okay. Uh, it's sort of fluctuating. Minus one point. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do in this situation. We've got nothing left we can do. Um, where are these troops going to raise? 21 troops there. I swear I said we had 100, but that's fine. 21 troops. But you know what? I'd rather have 21 troops than, than not 21 troops. Someone died. We got some gold. Oh, thank God. 15% war score. This is winnable, but it's, it's just going to be a lot of dice rolling. We are going to have to get extremely lucky during some of these, uh, during some of this combat. Okay, the dragon is back. Now that's what we're going to win this war with. Naturally, we're going to win the war with the dragon anyway, but that's, uh, it's brought things back on board a little bit. It's given me a little bit of hope. Let's put it that way. And hope is a dangerous thing when you are, uh, kind of in a desperate situation like we are now, huh? We've only got one child. Oh god, she looks like a mother. Good god. What a horrible fate. Prince Malus of Pentos, grandson. Oh, I love that his grandparents have just conglomerated down to one again. Uh, obviously, grandson of John and Daenerys there. So we'll see if you are doing any good in future life. Now, he does get the coin flip event, you've got to bear in mind as well, which is what I'm waiting for here to determine if he's going to be any good. He may get something like Paranoid or Wrathful or Lunatic, which would suck, but he might come out a genius, which would be 10 out of 10. Okay, it's up to lifestyle. So now that she's 45, that other ambition we took to have five children is cancelled because it's impossible. So let's go for <laughs> Paragon of Virtue. Sure, why not? That seems appropriate, huh? Um... Deploy the dragon in the siege. Let's not risk the dragon. This one will just let happen as we siege anyway. We'll just sit here, reinforce some troops, take some provinces, get, gather a little bit of war score. Then we'll go and counter siege some other provinces we lost. And then we've got to take out the Sunrise Road. In fact, if we hit that on the way to taking out their army, that would give us a decent amount. Please don't leave too many behind his garrison. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Okay, we're up to 14%. I'm going to hit a capital. Fuck it. We've got the dragon rider back, so that's, that's going to keep things down. Worst case scenario, we turn up for the Sunrise Road, siege it down, it gets maimed, and then the army moves in and crushes us. That would be a 0 out of 10 situation right there. Do it. We managed it. Oh my god, we can assault it down. They've only got 200 men left. Uh, assault it down. That might just immediately win us a war because she's there. She's not leading troops. She's actually at this castle that we're sieging right now. So this may stop this entire goddamn rebellion in its tracks. Do it. Clamp her in irons and leave the rest. Do we actually get her? Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That is a 10 out of 10 war right there. Okay. We're done. And now we can revoke all of the traitorous vassal titles in one swoop. We could ask them to... Do we have to ask them to bend the knee? Let them rot. Let them rot. The Merchant Republics, getting rid of those first and foremost is going to help us out massively. Merchant Republics hate us because they are obviously wrong government type. Plus, Pentos was a big Merchant Republic that we've turned into a monarchy, an absolute monarchy. So I'm going to go to... An absolute monarchy under many absolute own units. Arrow, goodbye. Because it... Wait, what? Why can't we revoke these? They're traitors. It's traitor, though. We'll not object. Good. Um, Lazan, revoke title. Why not? Oh, he doesn't have a title. Nessa, traitor. Revoke it. Get out of here. Berylos, revoke it. She's a traitor. I don't care. We can't revoke the last one because that's our last title. Um, Zolio, revoke it. Why can't we revoke these? Is it because they're a merchant republic? Kind of sucks. Um... I want to get rid of these Merchant Republics like, right now. Principality of Pentos. We can revoke it but lose minus 15 with our other vassals. I'm doing it to get rid of the Merchant Republics. I, I'm, I hate this. Fuck it. Let's go, let's go balls to the wall tyrant. Because honestly at this stage it's probably safer. Because most of our vassals are in prison and we can probably beat them anyway with the dragon. So let's just go nuts with it. Let's go full on Targaryen lunatic right now. And uh, take full control of Pentos. Who cares if we've got vassals that hate us. Honestly. Let them, let them come as far as I'm concerned. What about you? We broke his titles since we have a covenant. Our vassals will not object. He's going to say no anyway. Merchant products will not give up titles. But yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see about that one, my friend. Uh, let's wait for our troops to reinforce a little bit. And let's also get some loyal vassals under us as well. So, unfortunately, can we not make this county capital? Not unless we revoke it, which I might just do. Again, get rid of some titles here. I'm taking it. I don't care. Like I said, I'm going full, full tyrant here to tidy up the ramps. We don't have to deal with this shit in the future anymore. I accept your offer. No more merchants of Pentos. We're done with it. Get out of here. City of the Great Arm? Don't care. We can hold this one personally. We don't even need to give some of these away if we revoke the other previous ones. Right, this one. This one's mine. What are you going to do? Say no? Maybe? We'll send him a gift first. Just as a, a convincing 
convincing matter. Power base reluctance. This might instigate a huge rebellion, but fuck it. Let's do it. Uh, City of Pentos Harbor, we can give that one away as well. Bring it. She must be delusional. Wait, what? Now we're in prison? We're in prison by ourselves. Uh, release. Can I interact with you? Wait, what? I need to go and read that event back. What? We've somehow been imprisoned by ourselves. Oh, we're out. Okay. I guess we just... Okay, we actually agreed to it, which is fantastic. Um, marry as you please. Whatever. Right, Nontalos is ours, so let's give that one away. Okay, so we've dealt with several merchant republics, and we've got ourselves a lot of personal domain now. Um, what have we got that we maybe don't want? Um, Berylos and the Sunrise Road, I'm probably just going to give away. We'll keep the sea-based ones. In fact, we'll just keep the best provinces. Actually, probably is going to be Nontalos and Pentos, though. Just judging by the state of some of these. Um, Nontalos has quite high. Berylos. What's our worst one? Sunrise Road we can get rid of immediately here. So let's, let's give that way to a, a vassal, perhaps. The Starks. The Starks can gain some land. As, uh, how many Starks we got left? Six living members. Um, Osric Stark. My cousin. My friend. You gain the Sunrise Rose. Welcome back, House Stark. Noble Lords, House Stark. Send him a gift as well. We need loyal vassals now. Now that we have, now we've gone basically full full tyrant here, we're giving Westerosi people the titles that we've stolen from uh, the local Pentosh. I'm sure they won't mind. Sure, it's not a big deal, huh? Who else we got? Um, who are you, Sahara? Oh, we were gonna get her for a marriage. Yeah, she's a bit, bit, bit like that. That ship has sailed. Okay. Um, House Aaron. We do. Septum Beamar. Oh God damn it. Okay. What about uh, Rowena Aaron? She's married matrilineally. I'm going to grant her a landed... Oh, we can't because she's not in our... Why can't we grant her a landed title? Is it because she's a woman? We can't land women? Well, that's going to cause a lot of issues. What about uh, House Seaworth? Are they still around? And, or House Tali, maybe? I think Davos deserves... Davos' descendants deserve land first. Donicho Seaworth, my good friend, for the, for the services of your ancestor, we are going to give you uh, Beryloth. Beryloth? Beryloth. Sorry, I thought I had a... Had a TH on the end. There you go, my friend. House Seaworth, welcome. Send him a gift as well. Keep him on side. Honorary title. You, my friend, get Chief Architect. Because, as we all know, House Seaworth have very famous architects. Good. We've rearranged the round. We've got more power for ourselves there in the forms of several different provinces. Feudal provinces. We've dealt with the Merchant Republics. We've got a couple more to deal with, though. The Velvet March definitely needs to go. Since we have come out of vassals, we're not object. I'm going to be taking that one. We're going to be plunged into war again. I should have really let our vassals reinforce before I did that. But that's okay. A lot of troops reinforce. Go on. Bring it. And now we get to revoke all these other rebellious titles. That's kind of what I was expecting. How many troops have joined him? Not... Okay. You know what? We could just march on his capital and just take it out. We've actually got a lot of troops of our own again. 5,700. This is good. Um, so put those ones down. Because they are not relevant. Let's see if we can get those guys up to the capital. So get everybody to Pentos as soon as possible. Um, they're actually going to try and stop us there, huh? Well, if we start moving troops in that direction. There we go. Okay. That's, that stopped them. That killed him dead. Good. Okay, those look like they're going to be able to get to the capital. Now, if we can get all of these boys there, that's 5,600 men with a dragon at the head of that. I think we're fine. They made a big mistake there, a critical mistake by letting us get these troops over there. Um, I accept your offer. Sure, it's 75 gold, which will keep our keep our war going. What do you want? You want a range of patrol between Edwin Stark and Liara Stark? Sure. And who is that? That's Osric Stark. Sure, we'll, we'll let that happen. That's our daughter, I believe. So that's going to ensure a political alliance as well as everything else. Man, this is, uh, we're making Westeros Pentos. We'll have to rename it to we Westeros. I mean, that doesn't really, does it... wait, what? Oh my god, the last minute she's done it again. <laughs> I thought it was impossible at the age of, I thought it was when you hit the age of 45, that was it. But I guess it's after 45. So it must be 46 is the cutoff point. Well, that's incredible. Um, pregnancy has come with considerable risk now that, what, we're going to give the dragon on a uh, designated region. I'm not sure about that one, Chief. Sure. There you go. Valerio. It's not the dragon, by the way. I don't know why it's showing the dragon portrait. I guess it just picks two random courtiers. My god, I'm not sure about that, huh? 5,600 men. I think we've got this in the bag. We've just got to play very safely still, because it could quickly get out of hand. Once the dragon is maimed, obviously we're looking for a bad time there. Right. Uh, High Admiral. We'll go for vassals, I guess. Donicio Seaworth, welcome. Osric Stark as advisor. Um, we'll try and keep these boys on side a little bit. The native... Uh, that was a High Valyrian guy, then. I guess he's our storm singer. Our native uh, Pentoshi people will try and keep on side where we can. Are these our best commanders? Are you having a laugh? Are you kidding me? Hang on, let's try that again because that's not right. Um, uh, seriously, these are the best commanders you can find? 
Okay, I think we need to hire some fresh wings because that's that's not on. Okay, um, employ a new courtier, a cell sword. Excellent, you'll do. Uh, we can't invite another one for what? A long time. Are you better? He's okay. Direct leader kind of sucks, but oh, he's also got flanker as well. Sure, he's skilled in everything, I guess. Um, sack you, the red priest, and let's put you on a flank then, seeing as you are quite skilled at that. Man, these are terrible. I think we need to stop our actual counselors doing things. Stop our master arms training troops, and he should be available as a commander. Then, yeah, there we are. That's a lot better. Right. Kill them all. That will count as a major battle. And we've got the dragon available to us as well. Good. This is a good battle for us. They, they don't have the units. We'd win this even without a dragon. With the dragon too, I think we're going to absolutely decimate them. Right. 4,000 men. Oh, you know what? They actually could have, if we'd not moved in sooner, they actually could have done something with that. Boom. Fool. Excellent. We actually killed a guy. Morale is down. But they could still... They could still win this. Now, I'm not going to risk revolt risk when we've already got this going on. Oh, man. If the cavalry gets here in time, holy fuck. When are they getting here? Uh, That's a lot of troops going to get here on the third, sixth move. Well, luckily, we can hit him with another dragon before then. I'm going to save the dragon until... Oh, man. Do we just want to do it as much as possible? It's every week. To be honest, we can do it another couple of times before those other guys get there. That was a good one. We killed two of their commanders. Okay, they've reinforced. Okay, it's still not many. We've still got them on the ropes here. This is not about we want to be dragged into. This is this is where it will start to suffer. They're coming in at half morale, which is fantastic news for us, obviously. Deploy that dragon, please. This is where it gets a bit risky. Getting the trait depressed. He dies. He gets trait depressed. He's depressed as well. Oh shit, our center's gone. Okay. They've lost two flanks. Our center's gone. But uh I will let everyone know if it's cow cowardice or waiting for me, man. Let's fight. We lose the trait Craven. What's her personal combat? Minus 30, because she's pregnant. Yeah, no, well, it's not. Labranova's cowardice. Let's mock him in battle. Um, we may just win this, because they've also got no commander on that, but it's going to be kind of touch and go. Oh, fuck. This is really bad. We can't even deploy the dragon again. And the fact is, this has been one big battle, so no matter... Th oh, this is where CK2 sucks, because even though we've killed way too many of their troops, we're still going to lose this. We've killed a lot of their troops. This is still going to count as a loss for us. Yep. That is a big no. Getting the trade lost or whatever. Yeah. So despite the fact we killed more troops than they killed of ours, we still count as a loss there. That is horrible. That's just bad game mechanics, Paradox. Calling you out on that one. That's shit. Okay. Um, well, now what the fuck do we do, huh? That was all down to RNG. That was that was all down to the, down to the gods. Um, <laughs> okay, we're back to this, aren't we? <laughs> Very fun. Very nice. Okay. Um, it, we could get lucky with the dragon again, but I'm not going to risk that. Just sit in Pentos and pray. Could go for his capital as well. Try torch it behind the scenes. What do we do here? So close yet so far. Okay. Um, right. Here's what we do. We're gonna we're gonna do exactly what I said. We're gonna go for Velvet Peak. We're gonna go for his capital. Maybe we'll capture his heir or something. Um, and the more they siege, the more garrisons they're gonna leave behind. That sucks so much. I'm really annoyed by that. Because we should have... Oh, that one dude is going to get just smashed while we're waiting for him. Right, let's go up by this area here. Minus 85%. Come on, we can't lose to this. Oh, I refuse. Head up to Velvet Peak. Let's take him out. And who is moving there exactly? Oh, four men. Right, whatever. Okay, we're going to go behind the scenes. We're going to drop the dragon. Oh, I wonder if it's because she's pregnant that she couldn't... That she had to leave there. God damn it. Rael. Rael starts her game. Whatever. Welcome. Excellent. Get her back on the center, for the love of God. That's why I think the pregnancy actually screwed us there massively. Two things getting screwed. The war and... I mean, that should be should be obvious there. Okay, right. So let's get to Velvet Peak. Burn it. Let's just burn them all. Stop. Don't care about people getting cleansed on my lands. Kill them. 110 men left. Take their capital. That's going to give us a, a decent amount of stabilizing war score. It's not going to let us win. Let's assault it. Let's go for the assault. Come on. Nice. 50, minus 55%. That's better. Take the whole capital. Get it, get it all. This is mine now. Thank you. Minus 54%. One person here. Nice. Clamp him in irons. That was the Archmaster. Probably shouldn't have clamped the Archmaster in irons. Probably not good for... Uh... Oh, that's their capital. That was Velvet Peak, not Velvet Mar... It's, it's understand. They're very similar sounding. Okay, it's fairly easy. Right, wait for them to leave. Are they actually going to leave? We might catch some of them, but that's okay. Oh, God. I can't keep affording to pay off this dragon. Local revolt risk up. You know what? Fuck it. Well, I'm going to save the gold for mercenaries. Right, now we take the capital, and now we've got this. Burn them. Please don't get maimed. Please. Okay. Good. Not not fantastic, but good. Okay. Now, we've just got to survive a week until the dragon's ready again. And then burn them again. 
The only issue is if their army decides actually it's going to head over here and crush us, then we're fucked. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, they're heading over here. They've decided to crush us. Um, please, please, I need my dragon again. They're not heading south, though. They're taking back Velvet Peak. Deploy it. Burn them. Okay, that's good. Take the capital. I just put in the dungeon. You can't for nothing? Are you serious? Battle of the Sunrise Road is minus 51%. I'm so annoyed by that because we should have won that. Um, What do we do now? No men, no troops. No gold, no loans. We could hire some mercenaries, 1,500 men. But it's not going to be enough to win the war though, is it? Let's run back to Pentos with our tail between our legs. Try and get enough money together. Let's maybe get lucky with the time. I don't know. How, uh, business focus. Cannot change for another year. 27 gold. Well, thank you. There we go. I was going to say collector tithe, but you fucking beat me to it, huh? 27 gold. That's war's in the bag now, boys. They've only got 3,400 men, though. And they've got to waste more troops taking back the promises we've just grabbed. Our troops can reinforce probably quicker than theirs. Bear in mind, we've got a much, much larger army than they've got as our maximum size. Get back to Pentos and just sit and wait. You can train troops. Collect taxes. Perform charity for what it's worth. Sabotage their capital? I mean, I'm... I don't know. Just sit and wait. 188 soldiers per month. Let's just sit here for a while. Let our troops reinforce. Let them come to us. And then we hire some mercenaries. The issue is, I think if they take back their capital and they take back the Velvet March, then... Oh, sorry. They take back Velvet Peak and then take back the Velvet March. Then they could... We, we could have some problems in the form of uh, them just having a 100% war score. So they might not actually need to come over and crush what's left of armory or take Pentos to the capital because they, you know, are just going to have enough anyway. Right, let's let plenty of time tick here. Why is the autosave on monthly? I'm going to turn that off. Okay, I've turned off monthly autosave, so we shouldn't keep being interrupted as much as we were. Now, not that autosave's relevant anyway, but we've got, what is that, 1,282 men. We've got 225 gold, so what I'm thinking here is, while we wait for them to reinforce, we could, when we're ready to actually move out, hire some mercenaries. The issue is, what what are mercenaries cost in this? I need, to, I need to wrap my head around this a minute, so we can get... It's sort of like, uh, it, it's, it's very much... Uh, a set system, isn't it? It's kind of an arbitrary amount. Yeah, so it's 225, 225, 225. They've all got the same amount of units, that type of thing. Um, it's 5.4 gold per month. Well, our current balance is 4.66. So actually, we could raise these guys if we wait a couple of months and actually hold them for quite a long time. We could probably have them for about a year. We don't need, what, 12 gold for that? So it's fairly cheap. Um, could also raise a fair amount of troops from somewhere. You're a liar. Okay, put them back down. Um... We need mercenaries, because we can't fight this many men by ourselves. We also need this goddamn dragon. Um, <laughs> Balos Hope of the Brave Companions. They seem they seem trustworthy. Your red priest has been discovered putting favors in his pocket. That is intolerable. You know why? Because we can chuck him in prison. We can exile him and take the gold. We can't. Uh, we can ransom him. Why can't we? Oh, because he's landed. Oh, you bitch. Okay. Um, ransom him back out. That gives us 25 gold. That means we can have the Brave Companions for quite a long time there. That's nice. Um, we've got anyone else we can ransom off without affecting the war. Nessa we've got. Um, they don't give a shit about Nessa. So let's get rid of her. 25 gold, I'll take it. It's better than nothing. That actually gives us mercenaries for quite a long time. Okay, so how many mercenaries can we get for that? We could also save up a little bit more. So that's 6 gold per month. Um, 4.68. So it be 2 gold per month if we hire the company of the cat. We give us... Oh, it's only going to give us 1,000 troops. Why are they so expensive? Why are they so expensive? They're terrible. Okay, well, let's go for the Brave Companions then. Let's wait for our troops to reinforce just as much as possible. Minus 46%, so we've got to be very careful. I imagine when they take back this war goal, they might actually hit 100%. So I've got to... No, surely not. Minus 50... Well, let's see how much occupation we've got. Minus 6% because we control those. So if you can't see just that, it's only going to give them another 12% war score. So actually, we can, we can just about afford to wait for our troops to reinforce and then get into mercenaries as well. Winter Fever... Winter fever. Are you having a laugh? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, go and perform some charity. Whatever. Um, wow. <laughs> okay. We'll just let it happen. Whatever. Uh, I'm not going to put ourselves in seclusion or anything. We're fine. Women's a conspiracy of plan to kill us. Really? What a shocker. Um, guess we'll have a spy master come back and scheme then. The Tali. Oh, shit. Tomoxin is obedient as well as playful now. That's pretty good. What does that give him? Taming skill, personal ch combat, or we can go for Wrath. The taming chance is lowered. We've already gotten tamed. So if we want him to be um, more useful immediately, we go for this one. But I'm going to go with Obedient. That seems very, very useful to have your pet dragon with, right? Okay. 
Let's let some time take. Now, our troops are obviously going to reinforce slower because there's apparently a big old disease, which is fantastic. Um, this guy has stepped down, led by <laughs> bureaucracy. Okay, sure. Dothraki are giving into bureaucracy. Oh, minus 99%, huh? Fuck. I said it would happen and it happened. Okay. Um, brave companions. Welcome. Very brave. Very, very companion. Uh, Daenora, your dragon is going to come in very handy. Is the dragon... Well, dragon's good, right? Uh, wounded. Risky, but fine. Okay, so let's get Daenora. Let's get Lakoro and Rollo. Balos Ho is terrible. Considering he's supposed to be the leader of the Brave Companions, he's actually shit. Let's stop. Oh, God, I don't think we can win this now. I might have just screwed us here. Um, Rollo, swap out for... Oh, shit, did I forbid him? Yeah, I did. Okay, swap you out for... Can she be on the flank? I'm going to test this out. Could, could she be on the flank? Because she's not useful on the center. It's way too much pressure for someone who's so shit at Marshall. We can't change this till when? Um, 33.55. So we've got to wait a while yet before war focus becomes relevant. She's got the best gear equipped too. I just want to... She's got to double check here. She's got everything equipped that we need to. Jamie Lannister... Whatever. Stannis is crowned attacking Marshall. Nope. Oathkeeper. She's got a lot... Okay, whatever. She's in the best situation it's going to be. Please. Turn up. End this war. Burn them. We're in my half morale, but maybe the dragon will fix things. Kill him. Fool, fool, fool. Oh, we actually might win. <sighs> Fuck you. I had that in the bag. How opportune. It is now us. King Malus of Pentos. Probably for the best, seeing as she was a monster who everybody hated anyway. Okay, are we any good? Do people like us? Why do you not like us? Opinion of predecessor. Minus 48. Too many held high lordships. That's fair. I can give away some stuff regarding that. Um, high lordship of Pentos. High lordship of Principality of Pentos. That's titular. Oh. Um, just chuck it at this dude. Thelis? No, I'm going to give it to like my boy Seaworth. You, my friend, get the principal. Council saying no. Oh, because we've got 10 empty seats. Right, fair enough. Uh, opinion. You can join us. You can join us. You can join us. Uh, you only, only you can join us. Okay, now can I give away this title? Grant landed title. Principality of Pentos. Everyone's in favor of that. Good. Prince Seaworth. That's so good. What is he like? Davos' grandson? Davos' grandson there. That is a 10 out of 10. I'm really happy about that. All right. Um, so the, the, the whole title thing is dealt with now, huh? So let's sort by opinion. Minus 91 still. Opinion predecessor is massive with that. Wrong government type, foreigner, whatever. What about you? Why don't you like us? Female lad, zealous, foreigner, whatever. Um, opinion of predecessor is killing me. Um, we could dish out some gold. Because we've got too many held titles as well. Do you want some gold? No? You want some gold? It's only going to increase by 14 opinion. It's based on uh, diplomacy, isn't it? Well, this might be an issue. Um... Master of Lords, we've got anyone better. We do. Okay, you're sacked in favor of you because you like us um, a little bit less. So it will get some favor. Oh, my God. I've got to try and keep the ram together as a tiny child. Perform statecraft. Hand of the King, you're sacked in favor of him. Seeing as he likes us less, send him some gold. And let's award him the title of Court Poet. Sure. Oversee the realm. Uh, you're sacked in favor of him just because it will make him again like us a very small amount more. Send him some gold. Um, honorary title of Food Taster. There we go. Master of Coins, sacked in favor of any vassal. You'll do. Master of Whispers. This should be someone that likes us. Let's be reasonable. Uh, someone who was preferably high intrigue. You'll do. Brassa Tali. Bra House Tali has never turned against us before. And I don't think they will start on us now. This is horrible. Court position is shit. <laughs> this is doomed. It was fairly optimistic from the get-go though, huh? Um, well. I guess we just pray. Aha, now here's how we can get a little bit of opinion with people. Go to this guy, grant him the landed title of Nontelos. That's going to make him like us because we've just granted him a duchy title. Create a high level Pentoshi Flatlands. Create it, give it away to somebody who we want to like us. Oh god, they're all fucking merchants again. Kill me. Okay, Lake of Mirth. We'll give that one away because A, we can give it to member, maybe a member of House Tali for services rendered. Let's see, have we got any living... Male Tarlies. It has to be male Tarly. I'm not just doing that to be, uh, you know, extremely... Wait. A Bressa? We've got... Randall Tarly's still alive. Oh, but he's got no... He's not going to have any more kids, and it's going to become... What house is that going to fall to? House Stark. House Stark's going to get a lot of land, but, I mean, we are part Stark. Not that it has any gameplay effect. Okay, who else do we bring over? House Tarly. There was House Aaron. Sure, you know what? Let's just give it to... 
Randall Tarley. You can't even give him the land because he's a, oh, he's a vassal of his wife. Sure. What about his wife then? She's miles away. She's on the other side of the world. Okay, that explains a lot. Um, I'm not. I'm not giving. I'm not making any more much profit. It's not happening because they hate us too much. Right. We've got uh, Stormlander. Stormlander, just a random guy, huh? Um, a search realm, and just see if we've got any recognizable houses uh, from Westeros, generally. Um, no, is the answer. Denoris Riswell, or something. A commander of the Citadel, though. Redwick Nestorin is definitely not Westeros. Stark Targaryen, our mother there, apparently in the Oubliette or something. Where is she? She's in the dungeon. Yep, goodbye. Um, I can't see anybody I recognize, I'm going to be honest. Wow, we really lost all of these noble houses. I'm trying to think who else we invited over. Tarth, but obviously that wouldn't have gone very far. Starks want a bit more land. Man, this sucks. Seaworth, we've already landed. Um, anybody. Just give me, okay, just give me anybody. Fuck it. Clearly, it's not going to go well. Let's just sort for, I don't know, high stewardship. There we go. Um, start high stewardship men. Durwald, Driftway. Salt Dornish. House Driftway. Leal and Able Servants. Why can we not give that out? Why? Pragmatist. I'm unlanded. It should be mine. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We, we, you're not gonna. Let's be reasonable here. You're not gonna allow it. Sorry, this is gonna be a lot of bullshit and me getting mad at the game because we can't land you. You're a priest. Get out of here with that shit. He wants. What's wrong with him? No particular opinion has been swayed by the other voters. So we've got to just basically get Barilio sacked. So let's kick him out. Who is he? Is it like our advisor or something? Who is he? Oh my god, please. He's a regent. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, I mean, you'd probably be up for actually giving him a landed title in that case, huh? Hey, I like him, though. I was also giving him a landed title. Plantashi Flatlands. Um, Khan. Why not? Zealot. I'm unlanded. I should get the title. Get out of here with that shit. And they've been swayed by an empty seat. Okay, so we need, please, somebody in favor of us. You, for the love of God, just let me give away this title. If we can do this, then we've got another vassal that likes us here, and it's our region, more to the point. Pragmatists are all being swayed. Glory Hound, no particular opinion. Been swayed by the other voters. So these dicks... I'm landed and have a claim on the title. No, you don't. No, you don't, you liar. Wait, does he? <laughs> um, no, you don't. Get out of here. Uh, right, okay. I've got. Sorry, I've got, let me figure this out. This is nuts. The Iron Bank of Bravos have sent an envoy. I'm literally down to the stage now where I'm asking for favours. Issue a reprimand. Pay your, pay your loans, please. Oh, come on. I hate you all. I hate you all. Why are you making my life so difficult? Empty seat is ours. Um, Bresatali, come on, please. Request council support. No. Oh, come. I, I, they hate me because I've got too many titles. They won't let me give away a friggin' title. This is the worst mechanic, Paradox. Request council... No. Okay, I'm going to take council support from anybody. Sure. Get, get on board. Welcome. Sure, they know what they're doing. Whatever. Someone's sacked. We can put a new advisor who probably likes us a lot more. Put him on. There we go. He wants a title anyway, right? Gr Grant Lantern, please. Pentosh Flatlands. Why? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Request, please. Please, just just let me... You hate me because I've got too many titles and they won't let me give it away. Does this make any fucking sense? Well, I'm not letting me give away that title. Who's getting favours? Red Priest Yellow. You're fired. You are gone. I hate you. Get out of here. Boom. Request count support. No, but... But... We might be able to give it away now. No. <laughs> this is dumb. This is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. Human artifact. Fuck it. Here, I've. What does Dragonkin do? Vassal Oh shit, I need that. Um, Triumph is undefeated to give Stormlander opinion. Here, have this one. Have this one, and you better join me, otherwise I'm going to be annoyed. Stop firing my counselors. Stop this madness. You're making them hate me. Someone with high opinion, please. Laseno, welcome. Hand of the king. Right. Grandlander title. Plantoshi Flatlands. Still no. You people, you, you make me cry. Returning a favor to Lord Ebros of... Right, fight, sack him. Get him out of here. Master of coin, you're fired. I don't care if it's annoying them. I don't care. This is annoying me. You're fired. Right. Grand Lantern title. Thank you. For fuck's sake, it was that one dude being a dick. Include lower titles. Get rid of it. Right, and now people will like us more because we haven't got too many titles. More to the point, we've got a vassal that really likes us. So that's great. Okay. Trust me when I say this is the right decision. So we've got three powerful vassals. The three most powerful vassals in the round like us a lot. This guy's not so keen on us. Chuck him an honorary title. There you go. Court musician. There you go. What about chuck him an artifact? So I'm sure we've got some shit that I don't want. Stannis' crown. Jamie Lannister's sword. I don't want it. What do we need that for? Give it to him and keep the round together. What a splendid object. Yeah, I'm sure. We'll do nothing for now. Shut up. I'm done. I hate this game. 
I'm never playing it again. Thank you for... <laughs> no, I'll obviously will be back tomorrow with the adventures of Pentos. What comes next? Probably a rebellion. That's going to be hilarious. Big shout out to the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. You know what? I almost don't want to give you a shout out for making this one possible because I hate it. Thank you to Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sidini, Conspire T, Crazy Pack, Krosis, Escape, Facuna Vasquez, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrofin, and Pelvis Presley, Sean Thornton, Smurt One, Tom Terror 18, Vacuous Backus, Wolf Center, Zazzy 7011. Thank you all for your support of the Santa Loves on Patreon. Thank you for raising my blood pressure. Between this and the Rimworld series, I'm sure I'm going to be dead within a week. And a thank you as well to Gray, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Llewellyn Thomas, Asaro, Betamus Max, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 217, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Icy the Great, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Panther Pearl, people for the ethical treatment of animals, Sir Thor the Swede, Shari, Wolfie, Zico, Anna Person, Sidini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle 2. Thank you all for your support. I need to lie down forever.